Hello and welcome into this week's RNN Diecast review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast review, it should be Christopher Bell's Xfinity winning car from Kentucky, but unfortunately that car is not quite released yet, so we're skipping that for the time being. And we are doing Martin Truex Jr.'s Kentucky winning car from the Cup Series. So, you know what the Elite Box looks like by now, we don't need to show that off. Uh, production sticker though, 143 of these Martin Truex Jr. Kentucky wins made, which is actually pretty low number considering that uh, this is the final win for the 78 car um, in the Cup Series. What comes in the box? Cup Series winner sticker, bag of red, white, and blue confetti, the generic Elite COA, and the race winner card. Martin Truex Jr. Quick State 400 winner, July 14th, 2018. 19th Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win. And on the back, Truex, Truex goes back to back at Kentucky Speedway. And you can pause to read if you want to. It is early in the morning, so you have to forgive my reading skills this morning. All right, on to the car. And... It's a pretty good looking car. Um, I like the paint scheme. I, I do like this auto owner's paint scheme. And uh, it's my first Truex diecast. So uh, I guess if I'm going to pick a first Truex diecast to have, a, this is probably a good one. The, his final win with Furniture Row before they ceased existence as an organization. Let's pop the hood here. Under the hood, we have a Toyota Let's Go Places and Furniture Row. Take a look at the engine detail on the Elites. Real nice uh, flat blue paint here, and it's it's like a two-tone blue, because you see here, you get a lighter blue at the bottom, turning to a darker blue here on the top of the car. Really nice here with the flat finish. I really like that. On the nose, Toyota Camry. A few pieces of tape, French Row Racing, 78 on the hood auto owners insurance and the big a little bit of confetti down through here not much but a little bit monster energy banner across the windshield 78 on the roof roof flaps do function that one doesn't come want to come out much but uh it does function nonetheless denver mattress along the back of the roof truex jr on the back window den number 57 uh, deck lid, a few different auto owners, uh, branches apparently, I'm guessing. Uh, under the deck lid, take a look at the fuel cell detail. Along the driver's side, uh, Sunoco, uh, Cup logo, Furniture Row, Denver Mattress, NASCAR race car. Uh, Furniture Row Racing obviously did not participate in the contingency sponsors. Cloth window net as usual, Truex along the name rail, four winter stickers, sponsors down the B post, Bass Pro Shops in front of the rear tire, auto owner's insurance, five hour energy behind the rear tire, although it is uh, partially gone as this is the, I believe this is the only damage on this car. Uh, from the burnout, as you can see here, the uh, tire is a little chewed up, the left rear tire. Um, and then, of course, the uh, fender's gone here, as uh, that did get uh, taken away by the burnout. On the back, bumper, fast, friendly, local, autoowners.com, Toyota, 78, Camry, and XSE. And down the other side, you can see the full 5-hour energy logo on this side. Uh, a little bit of scuffs here. Uh, behind the right rear wheel well. Otherwise, the right side is fairly clean. 
All right, and that is your look at Martin Truex Jr.'s 2018 Kentucky winning Toyota. Pretty good looking car here. So I'm trying to adjust things here. Um, yeah, I think this is a uh, this is a really good piece uh, for the history behind it, for being uh, Furniture Row's final win. With there only being 143, I know they've they've already gotten pretty rare. Um, I didn't really look too much before recording this, but I don't think there's too many left around to find. You might be able to scavenge one somewhere, maybe on eBay, but I don't know that there's that many around anywhere. So uh, it might be kind of tough to to find this one if you want it and you don't already have it. So I don't know how many of the ARCs they made. Um, I just know the production run for the elites. So uh, there might be a much better number of ARCs out there. I don't know, but um, in terms of elites, yeah, it's only 143. So not a lot out there to find uh, if you are looking for this one and don't already have it. But I uh, believe that will do it uh, next week's diecast review. If the if the Christopher Bell Kentucky win hasn't shown up yet, it uh, looks like it will be Kurt Busch's Bristol win uh, from the 2018 night race. So uh, that'll be a cool one to look at next week. That is a really cool looking car. So that's what we got coming up for you next week. Um, if the Christopher Bell car doesn't show up yet. But uh, if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do, and it helps us out so much when you do that. But at that, this has been the RNN Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.